In the previous video, we discussed the structure and function of the transversus abdominis muscle. But I mentioned there that this muscle is important clinically because oftentimes it's weak in individuals who are sedentary, who have low back pain, for individuals following a lumbar spine surgery. And also, if this muscle is weak, it can lead to the development of diastasis recti following pregnancy. Okay, so it's very important to know how to teach someone to find the muscle, then activate it, and then you can strengthen it. So how do we find the muscle? I'm going to first show you it on this picture here. We're going to go over everything, all this verbiage, and then I'm going to show you a video demonstration at the end on myself so you can see it in real time. Now to find the muscle, you're going to use your second and third digits right here, the pads of digits two and three. And where can you find it? It's a deep muscle and it's covered up by the external and internal obliques. Well, there's one spot where you should be able to feel this muscle contract. So what you're going to do to locate the TRA muscle, you're going to use the second and third digits on each hand and you're going to place each of these fingers on the ASIS on each side. And the ASIS is the anterior superior iliac spine, that bony prominence on the front of the hips and pelvis. Purposely chose a picture here where that ASIS is pretty prominent. You can see it right here on the right side, and then you can see it over here on the left side. So you're going to first find that ASIS. So right there, that's the ASIS. Once you have those fingers on each ASIS, both left and right, you're then going to very gently move your fingers about half an inch inward. So maybe about half an inch, just like that. And really what you're feeling for is as you move medially, so toward the midline, you'll actually feel the edge of the ASIS, kind of like you're going over a cliff, and you'll feel the end of the bone. You want to go over until you feel the end of that bone, and if you were to push down, it's nothing but kind of fleshy tissue there, okay? And then once you've gone over the edge of the ASIS, normally about half an inch over, you're then going to press firmly down through your skin and flesh. So that is the palpation technique. You need to be pressing down with your fingers in there pretty firmly, as much as you can tolerate. And you're not gonna feel the muscle right there. You actually need to contract it and feel it move against your fingers, okay? So while holding your second and third digits, or fingers, in that position, you wanna to attempt to draw your navel in towards your spine. Okay, so your belly button, your navel, needs to be drawn in toward your spine. So you might tell your patient, suck in your gut. And the muscle that they would feel moving against their fingers, that is the transversus abdominis. While maintaining the fingers there, they should also relax the muscle. So stop sucking in their gut. Allow their navel to come back to the resting position. And they should also feel the transversus abdominis move against their fingers as the muscle relaxes, okay? Now, if the person or you yourself do not feel any muscle contraction, it generally means one of two things, okay? Uh, let's consider uh, the more hopeful of the two. Uh, the location of the fingers may not be correct. So in some people, uh, you might have to move a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, maybe your finger placement's just a tad off. Um, sometimes that's all the fix that you need. But it could be that the person is contracting the wrong muscle. They're not contracting at all. I've had patients where I've asked them, hey, have you ever gotten a picture taken? And everyone's like, suck in your gut. And you suck in your gut to get the picture taken so you look thinner. And there's some people that literally, I can't believe it, it's humbling. They've never done that. They don't know how to suck in their gut. They don't actually know how to draw their navel into their spine. And it floored me the first time that ever happened. And when we get to the video of this, I'll show you some other ways that you can cue the patient to also contract the muscle. It also could be that they're just simply doing the Valsalva maneuver. So a lot of times as the physical therapist, I will also have two fingers on one of their uh, transversus abdominis feeling for the contraction before I clear them to do it on their own, just to make sure they're doing it right and I won't feel it when I know I'm in the right place. Uh, but what I notice is sometimes the people, their belly actually flares out. If you are activating the TRA, your belly should not flare out. That's likely a variation of the Valsalva maneuver, and that is not a TRA contraction. So 
You need to be able to feel the muscles moving against your fingers as it contracts and relaxes, and the belly should not expand out. If anything, it should move in or stay about the same. And you can also put your hand on the person's belly to make sure that it's not moving out. If they're still not getting the contraction, they likely don't know how to volitionally activate it, and you might need to use another method, which we'll be covering in the video. And speaking of that, let's actually go and watch a video, short demonstration, of how to teach someone how to contract this muscle. The first thing we need to do is find the transversus abdominis muscle using a palpation technique. We're using the second and third digits. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find that ASIS, that bony point on the front of the pelvis. Mine is approximately right here. Once you find that, you're gonna move about half an inch inward until you feel the edge of that ASIS and sort of where it drops off. And once you have that, you're then gonna press through all the soft tissue, right? And then from there, you're going to draw your navel in towards your spine or suck in your gut as people often say. And as you contract, you should feel the muscle moving against your fingers. You should also feel it as you relax. Let's take a look at that in the hook line position on the table. So now we're in the hook line position. This is probably the best position for patients to learn how to activate the transversus abdominis. You can certainly do it sitting, you can do it standing, but this is where you should start. So we're gonna use our palpating fingers, digits two and three. We're gonna find that bony prominence, that's the ASIS. Once you have that, you're gonna move about half an inch inward until you feel the edge of the ASIS where it drops off on either side. Then you're gonna press downward. If somebody has a lot of central adiposity in that area, they'll probably have to press down even more firmly. While you're palpating that muscle, you're going to draw the navel in towards the spine, suck in your gut. You should feel the muscle moving as you contract it, and then also relax it, and you should also feel it as the muscle relaxes. One thing you want to do while you're activating the muscle or doing isometric holds is you wanna make sure that you're trying to breathe as normally as possible. Don't hold your breath, okay? Uh, a couple things here. If you have your fingers there and you're pretty sure the person is, is activating the muscle correctly but you don't feel it, you might have to move down a little bit or in some cases maybe up. Your finger placement could be incorrect for that particular person. Maybe there's a little bit of variability there. But the other thing you wanna watch for is this. So you tell the person to suck in their gut and they do this. See what just happened there? Look at my belly. It actually flared out, okay? If the person is flaring out their belly, when you say to suck in your gut, there's a very good chance they are not contracting the right muscle. They're definitely not doing the drawing in maneuver as we call it. So if they're flaring their stomach out, you wanna make sure to cue them to not do that. Make sure that their stomach either stays static or even goes in just a little bit. So you want something to look like this, not this. If they're doing this, this is more than likely the Valsalva maneuver or some variation of it, or they're compensating because there's significant weakness of the muscle, or they don't have the conscious control, the motor control of that muscle, okay? From here, and we'll go into this more in the next video, you can do isometric holds. This is the first way to strengthen the muscle. So what I usually recommend people do is to do five seconds contracting, five seconds relaxing, and then repeat a certain number of times, let's say 10 times. So it'll look like this. Find the muscle, draw in, one, two, three, four, five, and relax for five seconds. So doing isometric holds like that is the best way to begin strengthening. Now, let's suppose you go through all that and the person is just not able to activate their transversus abdominis. You need another way to cue the patient. That's what we're gonna go into right now. If you have a patient that lacks conscious control of the transversus abdominis muscle and they can't voluntarily suck in their gut or draw their navel towards their spine, you need another cue for the patient to activate the transversus abdominis. And one way is to get them to flatten the lordotic curvature in their spine. So actually this little crack in the table right here, 
This is actually lined up pretty well with the uh, high point of the lorgotic curvature in my lumbar spine. So in the clinic, you can actually stick your hand under that lordotic curvature and say, crush my hand by pressing the back of your lumbar spine into my hand. And so the patient would attempt to do something like this, like that. Of course, you can concurrently feel if they are getting transversus abdominis activation by doing the same palpation technique that we did earlier. So like this. Basically, you're initiating a posterior pelvic tilt. That's how they're crushing your hand. At home, you can get them to have a rolled up washcloth. Also stick it more or less in the same location where they have that uh, high point of their lordotic curvature. And then the same thing, crush that towel. This is not ideal, but it is a way to get that muscle to contract, even though there will be some other muscles that help out. All right, so let's suppose you take the patient through the drawing in maneuver. They're not able to activate the transversus abdominis that way. You then do the posterior pelvic tilt maneuver, where you place something under the lordotic curvature of their lumbar spine, and they're not able to do that to activate the transversus abdominis. So what do you do? Do you just give up? No. You need another method, and this one is not very specific for the transversus abdominis, but it tends to get some activation. And if we're able to get some activation, we might get some strengthening, maybe some better motor control, and later on, we'll be able to have them do the posterior pelvic tilt maneuver, and then maybe the drawing in maneuver after that, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're still gonna be in the hook line position like this, and you need a setup where you can have a, an elastic band or a TheraBand, something like this, to where you can then draw these down like that, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna have the patient with one of these in each hand, and they're basically gonna take these down to the floor. So take these down to the floor like this, and they're gonna hold. And you can even instruct them to press into the floor with their hands. So press into the floor. In fact, that is actually advisable. I can actually feel my transversus abdominis activating here. You can do isometric holds. You can do pursed lip breathing, breathing cycles, okay? And then relax and come back. And once the person can engage it again, you bring this back slowly. Bring it to the floor first, and then press your hands into the floor and this will activate the transversus abdominis, even if somebody lacks the motor control to do either of the previous maneuvers. Again, here, just make sure you are trying to breathe as normally as possible. So hopefully this video gave you some good information about how to cue somebody to activate the transversus abdominis. In the next video, we're gonna go over some basic strengthening principles, so make sure to join us then. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.